Trigger warning! This video is for hardcore gamers only! Sony Tards, Micro Shills, Nintendrones, and PC Mustard Stains are required to wear butt armor to prevent anal devastation. Hey gamers, Wago Valiente here. A couple days, we're gonna see the Resident Evil 4 HD Remake coming out on Steam. It's only coming out for the PC Master Race. It's not for PlayStation 4 or even for Xbox One for reasons unknown except to Capcom, but whatever. Now, the thing with HD Remakes is I, I looked and saw what they're actually doing for it, and turns out, well, it's, it's stretching it out to 720p so it can be next-gen gaming, and then ripping out the textures, slapping them on Facebook, putting on a filter, and then slapping them back in the game. Oh boy, Capcom, I am so eager to give you 40 of my dollars for this remake. You know, back in my day, remakes meant something. Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3 came out on the NES. Fantastic games! So Nintendo thought, hey, Super Nintendo comes out, they'll buy the games again. And sure enough, they slap them into Super Mario All-Stars. But they actually put some effort into the new graphics. It looked like a Super Nintendo game. It played the same, but that game doesn't really need many updates to its gameplay. That felt great, especially when you would get Super Mario World included with it. Now that was a bargain, gamers. This $40 for a 10-year-old game? What else is new in it? Nothing, there's no new levels. Even though the mercenary mode, which is my favorite part of Resident Evil 4, nothing new for that. No new maps, no new characters. Great, fantastic. I wanna pay for that right now. You know, gamers, speaking of paying too much for things that you've already played, Let's take Borderlands 1 as an example. You buy the game, it sells gangbusters. Critics love it, everybody loves it, even my aunt loves this game. So it becomes game of the year in multitude of, of different places, magazines, websites, what have you. So then they come out with the DLC, maps, characters that you have to buy for. Oh, except if you buy the game of the year edition, then you get it all included for free. Well, gamers, those weren't included in the game that got Game of the Year. That was the original one that I bought. But what do I have to do? I have to purchase all of those things to get up to the edition that is claimed the Game of the Year edition. You know what, gamers? I'm done with it. I'm done with these publishers and these developers trying to put my wallet to a sleeper hole and get every last penny out of me. Well, no more, gamers. This is what's gonna happen. Me and my wallet, we're gonna tag team the developers and the publishers. Get ready, the Capcom. Get ready, the Konami. Get ready, the Valve. Get ready, the Nintendo. Because we're going to the Forest Red Ring, and we're gonna take you on. Tap out, ball it. Go ahead and get that Game of the Year edition. Wait for it to be on sale. Then you get the best value for your money. Bam, take that, Gaben. Bam, take that, Miyamoto. Oh, snap me in, and then pow, I'm gonna take him out. Put him into the center. Give him a clothesline. Set him out there. One, two, three, pay fall. 